of course, William, the world is experiencing many economic headwinds at the moment. There's inflation, there's China's coronavirus surge, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, global supply chain issues, et cetera. So April was generally miserable on Wall Street. Should Americans be concerned about the well-being of the economy going forward? I don't think so. The economy overall is still healthy. We're we're growing at a at a decent rate. You know that we're right in that four to five percent for GDP, which is solid. Inflation has been a concern, but the Fed has been addressing that concern. There haven't been any surprises, and as long as we continue to see things trend as they have, I think that inflation will uh, be placed back into control over the long longer term. Manufacturing numbers came in, they were very good. Uh, the jobs report came in also very good. So I don't think there's any any room for alarm right now. And of course, uh, you know, to sort of look at the Main Street repercussions of what's happening on Wall Street, popular retirement funds are taking a hit as some tech stocks plunged recently. So what should folks know about when it comes to safeguarding their savings? So 401ks have the added benefit, many of them include a target date fund. And target date funds are often misunderstood. The way that they're supposed to be used is you pick the time when you're going to retire and you're supposed to allocate 100% of your savings into that target date fund. So for investors that are doing that, they're gonna be just fine. What that target date is doing is it's building a glide path for them. And that glide path is going to reduce the amount of equity exposure that they have. It's gonna reduce the amount of growth companies uh, that they have as they get closer to retirement. So they're not gonna be exposed to this source of downside risk as say a younger employee who's contributing with a much longer time frame, who will also be able to recover in a longer period of time if they've just entered into the, into the market over the last you know, couple of months, for example. So would you say for those who are looking to retire then uh, relatively soon, maybe don't go so heavy on tech, but perhaps younger people who have a long time ahead of them, uh, this could be a buying opportunity? I would say it's important not to over allocate to any individual sector or individual company. So technology is a great place to be investing. Should your whole portfolio be technology regardless of your age? No, it, it, you want to make sure that you have a diverse portfolio. For older individuals, you know, a lot of their portfolio is going to have a bit more fixed income because they want to preserve what they've acquired. For younger individuals, they're going to have more growth in their portfolio. They're not going to have a lot of dividend producing stocks, and that's okay because they're looking to build up that retirement value and then spend down later. Always important to diversify. All right, William Houston, founder and chief investment officer of Bay Street Capital Holdings, thanks so much for joining us.